Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to my channel. This is Tanush and uh, today I will be discussing with you a very important transit which has already happened yesterday. So Mars has moved uh, from the sign of Virgo which is Kanya Rashi into the sign of uh, Venus which is Libra, right? Now uh, Mars shares a neutral relationship with uh, Venus also its signs. So Mars is kind of okay, uh, comfortable we can say, you know, uh, it's not disturbed, it's okay being there, right? Uh, so what does Mars represent? You know, Mars is a soldier as we already discussed earlier. Mars is a soldier, Mars represents, you know, our stamina, our strength, our courage, will to do things, you know, uh, perseverance, um, many things, right? So M Mars is an aggressive personality who believes in getting things done, right? Now when Mars comes into the sign of Venus, um, the thought process of Mars and the way it behaves, it changes a little bit. It's like a soldier who has fought the war, you know, so uh, he worked very hard, he fought the war and now he's back home and he's on vacation, right? So he's in that mood. Mars is in the mood of kind of, you know, uh, he's just kind of chilling out and uh, his aggressive na nature is little bit subdued, right? And um, why this uh, transit is interesting is Mars is in the sign of uh, Venus, which is Libra, and Venus is in the sign of Mars, that is in the Scorpio, so, right? So we have Libra and Scorpio. So Venus is sitting in Mars sign, which is Scorpio, and Mars is sitting in Venus sign, which is Libra, right? So as per Parashar Muni, this is a, uh, a wonderful yoga, uh, a kind of Raj Yoga, which is known as Parivartan Yoga. And it's one of uh, the good yogas, we can say, because both the planets are kind of neutral to each other. And what it means is that uh, both the planets will not disturb the house in which they are staying. It's like, you know, uh, you disturb my house, then I'm going to disturb your house, right? So it's like uh, two people uh, residing in, you know, each other's house. So if one damages the other's house, you know, the other person is also capable of damaging that house, right? Uh, but in this case, both uh, they both share a neutral relationship. They are not enemies. Uh, so they are kind of okay being there. And when they exchange the houses, you know, then uh, they, they generally do much better. So um, that is one significant thing. Now, the second significant thing is uh, Saturn is we know in transit is in the sign of Capricorn or Makar Rashi and um, Jupiter is also in the sign of Capricorn or Makar Rashi so Jupiter gets debilitated in the sign of Makar Rashi we all know right in the sign of Capricorn and uh, if you go a little bit you know uh, in detail Jupiter is in the nakshatra of Dhanista which is the nakshatra of Mars itself so now Jupiter uh, is debilitated in the sign of Capricorn or Makar Rashi and because Saturn is sitting with Jupiter and Saturn is a lot of Capricorn, uh, Jupiter is receiving, uh, receiving the niche bhanga, you know, which means Saturn is pulling Jupiter out of uh, its state of debilitation. Now to add to that, now Mars which has come to the uh, sign of Libra, is now aspecting with its fourth aspect it is aspecting the sign of Capricorn and also Jupiter right and uh, Capricorn is the sign where Mars gets exalted right so now Jupiter is receiving more strength right because uh, the planet which is exalted in uh, Capricorn or Makar Rashi is directly aspecting uh, that particular Rashi and hence this is also a kind of niche bhanga. So Jupiter now becomes a little bit more positive as compared to earlier and because Jupiter is in the is in the nakshatra of Dhanista which is also the nakshatra of Mars. Uh, so that adds to the positivity of Jupiter and anyway Jupiter is now you know in the mood of going to the next sign of Aquarius because it's it's going to transit on 20th of November. So uh, the negativity is almost uh, cut down and Jupiter is now, you know, planning to get into the next house. So that is one good thing. Now, Saturn sitting in the sign of Capricorn or Makar Rashi uh, 
Saturn is aspecting the sign of Libra, the sign where Saturn is exalted and that is where Mars is sitting, right? So Saturn is looking at the sign of Libra where it is exalted and in Libra, Mars is sitting there and aspecting Saturn where uh, in uh, basically the sign of Capricorn where Mars is exalted. So now they are strengthening both the houses, right? Because uh, Capricorn is Saturn's own house, but because it is receiving the aspect of Mars, uh, so, you know, it gets that strength, right? And um, even Libra, because it is being aspected by Saturn, uh, it is surely getting that strength. Now, uh, a lot depends on how Mars is placed in your horoscope which Dasha you are running, how Venus is placed in your horoscope, you know, are they functional malefic or are they yoke karaka for, uh, you know, for a particular ascendant. So, uh, I'll be, you know, just uh, touching all the ascendants, I'll not get into much details, how this transit is going to, uh, you know, help, I mean, basically give results to everyone. And one more important thing I want to mention is, right now, Sun, which is the king of all the planets, is in the in the sign of Libra where it is debilitated, right? So the king is in the marketplace and it has basically lost its strength, right? So it's not very comfortable being there. Uh, so um, now when Mars has come into the sign of Libra <clears throat> and because it is joining Sun, right? So now Sun receives that strength, right? So Sun is receiving the strength because Mars which is a soldier, which is the commander in chief of sun, which obeys, you know, the orders of sun has joined, you know, sun, right? So now sun is little comfortable. And second, because Saturn uh, is aspecting the sign of Libra where Saturn is, you know, exalted. So that way, indirectly, it is, it is also receiving the niche bhanga, right? So now, now sun becomes a little bit more comfortable, we can say. Uh, it's not so bad as it is when it is debilitated. So this transit is kind of balancing out many things. It's helping Jupiter, it's helping uh, Sun uh, and also both the houses are, uh, you know, getting that strength, right? So let us see, you know, how it's going to impact all the ascendants. So I'll just touch base. So um, for those who directly want to, uh, you know, listen to uh, how this transit is going to impact you i'm giving a timestamp in the description section so you can directly go there and you know just uh, just you can click on the timestamp it will uh, it will take you to your ascendant right so let us start with aries or mesha lagna now mars is transiting into your seventh house and uh, venus is in the eighth house right so there is a kshetra parivartan between the seventh and the eighth house and mars is the lord of your first and eighth house and sun is the lord of your fifth house, right? So now, uh, how is it going to impact you? Is that uh, your 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 place of career is now strengthened? So now you'll you'll get much more clarity in what you are doing. You'll get a lot of courage uh, in in you know what you are planning to do because Mars is going to aspect now your tenth house, right? Now uh, your seventh house basically is ruled by Saturn, where Mars is sitting. And like we discussed earlier, when Mars gets into the house of Venus, you know, it gets into that mood of enjoyment, right? So here now Mars wants to kind of enjoy. And uh, when a soldier basically is out from the war, uh, he's on vacation and when he tries to party, uh, you know, soldier parties very hard, right? So which means now it is in the mood of enjoyment and you guys have to be little careful because Mars will compel you to buy new things, you know, go to different places, enjoy your life, you know, eat different kinds of food, have sensual relationship with your partner. And um, if the Dasha promises, you know, this is a time where you can also get married, right? And uh, because your fifth house, uh, sun was getting impacted, now Mars is giving strength to that sun. So you can see that, you know, the issues you had with the fifth house, namely, you know, with your children, uh, you know, children not studying or health of the children, you know, different aspects. Now you can see an improvement on all those aspects, right? So for Aries Ascendant, it's kind of a good transit, we can say. But because the eight uh, 
uh, Lord uh, Eighth House is also involved in that because Mars is also Lord of your Eighth House. You know, uh, you can expect certain sudden events, and you have to be careful while, uh, especially while driving your vehicle. Otherwise, this transit is very good for you. Now, for Taurus or Rishabh Lagna. Mars is transiting into your 6th house, right? And Mars does very good in the 6th house because it is one of the Upachaya houses where uh, all the, you know, Papa Grahas are kind of comfortable being there. So Mars is, you know, uh, very good there and Venus is now sitting in the 7th house and there is a uh, Kshetra Parivartan between the 6th and the 7th house, right? Uh, so Mars is a lot of your 7th and 12th house, now it is in the 6th house. So what we can expect is, you know, uh, you can have a little bit of aggression towards your partner so you have to be careful on that front um, you can actually go on uh, travel so those of you who were planning to travel you know uh, out of in out of your country basically so this is uh, the right time i mean all your visa issues can be sorted out and this is the time where you can actually plan your travel right um, now sun is the lot of your fourth house so sun is not very comfortable actually uh, owning the fourth house but but you know it now sun is in the sixth house and sun is even though it is debilitated you know in sixth house it has that uh, that that's you know direction strength we can say or digbala so it is it is kind of okay being there and now Mars coming there is now giving strength to sun so all the uh, things related to a fourth house like you know your home environment uh, your health of your mother your relationship with your mother uh, you know your plans uh, to purchase any property or if you are undertaking any construction uh, things or if you are even planning to start something new you know uh, so this is going to support you in doing that so there will be no obstacles uh, once you know mars starts supporting the sun also, we have the aspect of Saturn as we already discussed, right? Now, for Gemini, um, this is going to be a very interesting um, transit. So, why is it like that, right? So, Mars is transiting into the 5th house and Venus, which is a lot of 5th house, is in the 6th house right now. And Mar Mars is a lot of your 11th and 6th house, right? So, now what happens is Mars sitting here. Uh, with its 7th aspect, it's going to aspect the 11th house and Mars is a lot of your 11th house which means Mars is holding the portfolio of gains from your profession, right? So now when Mars sitting here along with Sun obviously, it aspects your 11th house, uh, it indicates increase in the income, right? Because Mars holds um, Aries, Mars is a lot of Aries, right? So if you if you were expecting any promotion, this is the time where you can get. If you are looking for change in the job, yes, you can go ahead with that. Uh, you can expect a very decent or you know good salary in the job change. And any money which was stuck, you know, this is the time where you can expect it back. And uh, you your network circle will be good, and you'll be introduced to you know uh, people holding. Um, very good positions in the society uh, during this time right also uh, sun is a lot of your third house which is you know which represents your younger siblings which mainly represents you know courage right so the courage was kind of down little bit till now but once uh, mars has joined you know uh, mars is also giving you that boost in the courage which is needed right so for gemini ascendants it's going to be one of the um, good transit i would say so uh, they'll be much more comfortable um, with this transit now for cancer mars is transiting into the fourth house and venus in the fifth house right now uh, mars is a lot of your 10th house and the fifth house so it is a lot of you know uh, one one it, uh, it 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 lords one kendra house and one trikona house which means it is a yokaraka gra for you one of the best uh, planets for cancer ascendant people right so uh, sun is a lot of your second house and uh, right now sun is also in the fourth house so uh, fourth house mars is not very comfortable being there because Mar fourth house represents your home front and mars is a soldier right so uh, it's like you know uh, putting a soldier to do all the household activities so it's not already 
uh, I mean, that is not the nature of Mars, but it's kind of okay because Mars is in the house of Venus, so it's already in that mood, right? So it's kind of okay. So during this time, what you can expect is, uh, you know, you because sitting there, it is again aspecting with the seven aspect, it is aspecting your tenth house. Uh, expect is um, during this time uh, you'll be much productive in your career you know and uh, you'll be much comfortable and you'll try to enjoy the work which you are doing and whatever issues you had earlier with your uh, colleagues and uh, with your reporting manager they will be kind of uh, you know settled down at this time due to Mars coming there because it is now with Sun right uh, and you know Saturn again uh, sitting in the seventh house is again aspecting uh, uh, you know Mars and Mars is again aspecting uh, the year seventh house right so overall I can say this transit is kind of good for you because um, Mars is going to help Sun which is a lot of your second house so if you had any issues with your family members or you know um, especially with the speech because you know second house represents the speech right and the lot of the speech was debilitated so your speech was not very uh, very impressive it was little harsh so this is going to fix those problems right now coming to Leo ascendant Mars is transiting into a third house Mars does you know very good in the third house it likes it likes being in the third house and um, uh, you know Venus is in the fourth house so Venus is very comfortable in the fourth house and Mars is very comfortable in the third house, right? And the lot of your ascendant, Sun is debilitated in the third house. Again, you know, Sun is kind of okay being in a third house, even though it's debilitated. And now that Mars has joined Sun, it's going to boost your courage. So this, this transit is going to be a good one for you because Mars is the best friend of your ascendant, that is Sun. Uh, so what you can expect is you know you can uh, your your relationship with your siblings will be little better your communication will be much much better than how it was earlier um, you can go on uh, you know long uh, long trips or long journeys during this time uh, and you know uh, if you had any health issues if you're facing then this transit of Mars is going to help you to to basically you know uh, overcome uh, those problems right now for Virgo ascendants this transit is not going to be very good because Mars is transiting into the second house and Venus is in the third house right so Mars is not very good being in the second house and Venus is not uh, very comfortable being in the third house and uh, the lot of your 12th house which is Sun is in the second house right so now both Sun and Mars both aggressive planets are sitting in the second house so it represents that you will have some issues with your extended family uh, your speech will be very harsh during this time so you have to take note of that you cannot be harsh with people because it's going to impact you uh, in the long run and being in the second house both Sun and Mars are going to aspect your eighth house which represents you will have Again, some verbal conflicts with your in-laws, uh, your joint assets with your uh, with your you know spouse will be impacted, and you can uh, also face some health issues, right? So this is a time where you have to be little uh, careful uh, because it's a time of uh, expenditure, I would say. So you'll uh, you'll uh, spend a lot of money because sun, which is a lot of your twelfth house. Sun, you know, which is uh, which represents, you know, different things like isolation, travels, which also represents spending, right, is debilitated in the second house. Second house is house of savings, which means, you know, your savings will be depleted during this period, right? And Mars is going surely going to add to that. So you have to be very, very careful with your spendings as well as your speech, right? Now coming to Libra or Tula Rashi, Tula Lagna, uh, Mars is transiting into your ascendant, right? And uh, Venus is in the second house. So it, I mean, uh, both the places are quite good for respect to planets. So when Mars comes into the ascendant, you know, you will feel a lot of energy in you. You will feel confidence. You know, your stamina will be high. You would like to, you know, 
go out uh, you know complete your work do different kind of things so it's going to be good and mars is a lot of your second and seventh house right uh, now one downside is both the second and seventh houses are known as maraka houses because they surely give some sort of health issues but on the positive note you know it is very good uh, because um, uh, because you know mars is going to give you a lot of energy you are uh, going to have good time with your spouse during this time and uh, your relationship with the business partners are going to be good you will also earn good amount of money during this time so overall it's a good time for you uh, the only thing is you know just uh, keep track of your health because it might give you some small health issues now coming to scorpio ascendant mars is transiting into your 12th house and venus is transiting into the first first house and mars is obviously the lord of your ascendant and the sixth house right uh, now sun is a lord of the 10th house uh, which is which represents your career so now uh, what's going to happen is you might face some health issues during this period right because the lord of your ascendant is in the 12th house which implies you know um, uh, you know some health issues or uh, some some depletion in your stamina so du during this time you can expect you know some some minor health issues you have to be very careful you know uh, on that front and uh, uh, because mars is also lord of your sixth house you can expect you know uh, some enemies uh, to to work very actively against you so you need to take care of that part as well now coming to Sagittarius or Dhanu Lagna, Mars is transiting into 11th house and Venus is in the 12th house, right? So Mars does very good in the 11th house and Venus does very good in the 12th house because in the Karl Chakra Kundali, you know, 12th house is owned uh, by Jupiter where uh, Venus does quite well, right? Um, now Mars is a lot of your 5th and 12th house. Right, so what this indicates is uh, uh, because Mars is transiting into 11th house, you know, you'll actively be involved in all your official activities and your gains from your profession are going to be quite stable during this time. Uh, you'll be very active in your um, network circle and uh, because there is a Kshetra Parivartan between the 11th and the 12th house, it also indicates that uh, if you have any investments, um, which you have done in something you know in companies related to foreign land or some business which involves you know foreign connection then you are going to gain a lot from that right uh, so uh, because 11th lot in the 12th house indicates you know gains from uh, either you know foreign countries so if you are if you are working in a foreign land then this time is going to be very good for you on the financial front surely now, because sun is the lot of your ninth house, so till now you were a little shaky about your future, you know, you had some doubts, but Mars now is going to give you that strength. Um, it's, it's going to strengthen the, uh, the sun and then you will regain your confidence and you will get the clarity on what you have to do in the future. Now, for Capricorn or uh, Makar Lagna, Mars is transiting into the 10th house and Venus in the 11th house, right? So uh, both the houses are good for respect to planets because Mars gets very good directional strength in the 10th house. It's very happy being in the 10th house and Venus is in the 11th house which is again the house of gains, right? Uh, and Mars is the lord of 4th uh, and the 11th house, so two very good houses it owns and Sun is the lord of your 8th house, right? So uh, what you can expect during this time is uh, you will be very very active uh, at your profession. Your confidence will be very good, you know, and uh, um, you will actively involved in multiple activities uh, in your office or in your business wherever wherever you're working. Uh, your network circle will be very good, and you'll enjoy uh, try to enjoy your life with the network circle, which means. All your friends so you can go out with your friends during this time you can party with your friends or go to different places as well so one downside is you know because Saturn because Sun is a lot of your eighth house you have to be a little careful on that front um, because Sun uh, Sun generally gives 
because it's a lot of 8000 right so it gives some sudden results but because uh, sun is in the 10000 where sun also does very good so that negativity uh, will be cut down to a larger extent right now coming to aquarius uh, mars is transiting into the 9th house and venus in the 10th house uh, and mars is a lot of your third and 10th house right so uh, both very good houses which mars likes it is a lot of it because third house represents courage and 10th house represents your profession so during this time what you can expect is you might uh, you know uh, go on journeys or business trips to either foreign land or to different far off places uh, from the place where you live uh, and your journeys will be very successful during this period your courage will be very good during this period because mars is again with the sun and because it is aspecting its own house the third house it it, it gives you know a boost to your uh, courage right and uh, because venus is in the 10th house it indicates that you are going to enjoy uh, your work so you will be happy doing what you are doing right and uh, sun is the lord of your 7th house so on that front you have to be a little careful because you might have some uh, issues with your spouse or partner so you have to be uh, careful and handle it with caution now uh, for pisces ascendant mars is transiting into your 8th house right and venus into your 9th house and mars is a lot of your second and ninth house and uh, sun is a lot of your sixth house so here because mars is transiting into the eighth house where sun is already there you know you have to be a little careful um, you know, during this period because eighth house again represents sudden events uh, sudden things which might which might be good or bad based based on you know how these planets are placed in your respective charts right so you have to be a little careful so if mars is very well placed in your horoscope then this transit can actually give you uh, a money uh, from from the source uh, where you are you are not expecting at all right so sudden gain of money can happen uh, uh, if you had any issues with your uh, ancestral property they might they might be uh, you know taken to a level where it's it's easy to sort it out if mars is uh, placed well and if mars is not placed well in a horoscope then this is going to create a lot of confusion uh, you have to be very careful with uh, the wealth you know your savings basically so you might have to spend savings on uh, different things which you had not planned for and uh, you know you might have issues with your in-laws as well as your extended families and um, you know if you, uh, you you had any conflict with the ancestral property then this is going this transit might make it worse right if mars is very badly placed right so ladies and gentlemen uh, this were my thoughts on the transit of mars it's going to be a very interesting uh, transit so um, if you like uh, my video i request you to please subscribe to my channel Otherwise, meet you again with a next video. Thank you so much for watching.